Hello everyone and welcome to ACAD Guild. This video will see how to work with VLOOKUP with MATCH function. Very very important video but you have to work on first of all VLOOKUP and MATCH function. There are separate videos which are recorded which are uploaded. Just have a look on those videos. After that only you can watch this video here. Now let us see what exactly this video will help you out. I have a table if you see which has all the details about the employee employee name, surname, address, city, state, zip code and other details. Now if I enter the name of that employee, let's say here some name is selected here. So if I click on this drop down, so basically a drop down list is already created. I have already shown you in the previous video how to create. Just have a look on that particular video. So if I just click on this drop down, if I select some name from here, let's say yes Bruce, if I select the name from here, all the values are displayed here. That means the entire information about this person has been displayed. If I click from this drop down, if I select as Fila, and if you see the zip code, the state, the address, the email ID and so on, everything has been displayed. And same way here also, if you see, if I click on this drop down, select some name from here. So all the values are getting updated here. If I click on the drop down, select from here, all the values are getting updated here. So what is the method and how do I use it? So we have to use a VLOOKUP function for sure, no doubt about that. But along with that VLOOKUP, we'll be using the MATCH function. Okay, so MATCH function. So first of all, I'll delete everything. And also I'll delete here. And let's try out the answer. How do I get it? But before proceeding, what I want you to do is, you select this particular table without the column headings like this. Keep your cursor in cell number A3. Control shift right arrow key. Control shift down arrow key. So using this you can select the entire table. Why I'm showing you the shortcut? Because if the table is small, use your mouse. No problem. But if the table is very large, thousands and millions of records, control shift right arrow, control shift down arrow and the table is selected. And the data is selected, not the table. Go to this name box, click on the name box and type here some name. Okay. And just type as my data. Once you type my data, press enter key from a keyboard. Do not forget to press enter key. Okay. Many people make this mistake. So just verify from the drop down, my data should be visible here. Okay. My data. Now, once you select this, my data, half of the work is done here. Now let's see, I'll try to write the function here for the zip code equal to VLOOKUP. That's my lookup value. Okay. Press F4 key. F4 will make it locked. Once you scroll the formula down, FB14 will always remain B14. So make sure you put a dollar sign. How to do it? Once you click on B14, press F4 shortcut key from your keyboard. Some computers, some PCs, you have to press function F4, comma. Now table array. You remember the table array, you have to select like this. This is your table array or instead of selecting, why not type it like this comma my data. Remember the data here. Okay. The data name or the name range comma with respect to this table. What is the column index number? You tell me the zip column number. Zip column number is I'll just count one, two, three, four and five. Once I press five comma zero, close the bracket, press enter. Now, if I try to drag down this function at the bottom, okay, everywhere you'll be getting the same zip code. Okay. The first one is absolutely correct. If you see for this filler, I'll just verify for this filler. What is the zip code number? 981143, which is absolutely correct. But what if you just scroll down everywhere? The column index number is five. You see everywhere. The column index number is five. So what is the method? How do I change it? So for state, what is the column number state? The column number is four. So first column, second column, third column, fourth column. I'll just manually type it one, two, like this so that you don't have to count every now and then. So for state column number is four. So everywhere you have to just go like this type as four. What is the column number for address for address? It would be column number two, double click and just type as two. For email, just verify email is sixth column. You see sixth column and six. 
so do you think it's very difficult phone number it would be number seven this is the very bad method of using this VLOOKUP and entering the numbers one by one okay that's not the right method what is the method so you just type only once the function and if you drag down you should get all the answers okay manually or you can say it's automatically how you see if you observe in this entire record I'll go to this formulas tab and go to this show formulas once I click on show formulas if you carefully observe there's a button show formulas if you carefully observe in all the functions which I've copied down only the column index number is changing lookup value is same table array same uh, you know the exact match is same only the column index number is changing five four two six seven so and I have to manually do that imagine if the table is very large if the data is very huge will you keep on typing the answer is no we have a shortcut method there is one function in previous video we have seen that function will display the position number of the item in the array recently we have seen in the previous video the function name is match function so what I'll do is instead of writing this manually 54267 I'll use here a match function e equal to match so match function gives you the position number I want to find out the position number of this particular cell first of all I'll click on this formulas tab show formulas so I can see now the text I have deactivated that e equal to match lookup value what is the position number of zip comma but where do you want to find out I want to find out in this row so if you see zip number okay the zip column number is fifth column I can just find out because I've written on the top so this is my lookup value comma lookup array comma zero close the bracket so once I press enter key you see I'm getting the answer as five if I scroll down definitely I'll get not available because if you scroll down this a2 to i2 okay a2 to i2 will become as a3 to i3 let's see double click you see a3 to i3 I'll just scroll up what is a3 to i3 it's actual data not the column heading okay so what you do is double click just put f4 click here press f4 basically I'm just trying to lock it once again equal to match lookup value comma that's my lookup array once you select lookup array when the cursor is blinking press F4 key from a keyboard comma zero and press enter now if you just double click do not drag now just double click you will get the position number you see five four six two seven okay the position number now the beauty of this thing is every time if you get a function like this we look up do not manually change it instead of this five number we'll use that function what we have already used this function what I'll do is I'll simply copy this control C okay I'll copy this function inside we look up okay once again I'll just double click right click copy so that you can see how I'm copying it double click here and instead of five paste that function you see nothing different I've done I have just pasted that function here enter and now I just double click here so what is the there's no change right now because we have already manually changed it right now if you see match function match function so the beauty of this method is simply select the first cell double click everywhere it will find out the position number and give it the answer all the places okay so this is how you can use VLOOKUP with the match function okay this was some other uh, vertical method let's see how to work with horizontal method here I'll use the function first of all equal to match value of this one is lookup value comma I want to find out in the lookup array so that's my lookup array press F4 key from a keyboard comma zero why F4 because if I scroll on the right hand side this function okay if I drag this function on the right hand side A2 to I2 will become it will become as B2 to J2 okay it will move vertically right hand side 
now if I just scroll on the right hand side you see now I'm getting the column index number so why not use the same function here equal to VLOOKUP inside VLOOKUP that's my lookup value comma I already have given the table array name that is my data no need to go to the table okay very smart method by using this name range comma column index number either you type manually or you type using this match function okay so better would be use match function match lookup value comma lookup array would be this one like this press f4 from a keyboard comma zero close the parenthesis close the bracket so now using this match function i'll get the column index number okay till here it's fine comma and zero close the bracket so you see only what changes i've made instead of manually typing the number two three four five six I'm using here a match function. So basically match function will give me the output as column index number, press enter. So I'm getting here as not available. The reason is I have by mistake selected B21. Actually it should not be B21, it should be A22, this value. Okay, that's my lookup value, right? The name of the person, enter. And now I can simply drag on the right hand side. Let us verify what is the problem here. If I double click on this place, if I double click here, you see now what is the lookup value B22, B22, which is again wrong, enter. If I double click here, now the value is C22, that's lookup value, again a wrong. Double click D22, everywhere lookup value should be A22, enter. Double click here, select, keep your cursor here, press F4 key from a keyboard. Using F4, it will be fixed now, enter and now drag it on the right hand side. So if you see, now I'm getting details about this particular Mavis name. Click on the drop down, select Chooks Hall and you'll get the name here. Click on the drop down, select this fila and you'll get the details about that person here. So this is how you can use VLOOKUP with match function. Very, very useful. Now the prerequisite for this video was looking up the video for VLOOKUP and also the match function here. So I hope you have understood how to work on VLOOKUP combination with match function. That's all for this video. Hey guys, if you like the video, please support us by clicking on the like button and subscribe the channel for further new upcoming videos on Excel. Thank you. A cat killed. Average is dead.